What's up, everybody? It's me, your boy, the Fluffy Gamer, back at it again, out on the hunt. Today is Saturday, the 21st. Saturday the 21st, I headed down to the Chula Vista area, went to several thrift stores, starting with the Valley. No, why did I say the Valley? That's up in Escondido. Starting with the Deseret Thrift Store. Went inside there, they actually had some uh, new stuff in there. I only picked up two items, one Blu-ray and one DVD. Uh, the Blu-ray that I picked up, it was marked for three bucks, which usually all the Blu-rays are three bucks. Uh, picked up a 3D Blu-ray documentary called Winged Planet 3D. I'm assuming it's about birds. Winged Planet 3D. And, uh, I always love watching it because the, the, the picture quality is amazing with these like documentaries, especially if you're watching it on 3D. Amazing. Paid three bucks and I believe I should be able to get about $12 plus uh, shipping on that. So going up on the bay, if anybody's interested, going up on the bay. Uh, the, ex the next thing that I found at the Deseret, I uh, paid five bucks for whatever reason. It's a DVD, but it's actually a TV show. It is a spanish tv show called amigos y rivales so friends and enemies i think it is i don't know i could be wrong but i'm thinking that's what it is but uh this is brand new factory sealed paid five bucks to four disc set amigos y rivales friends and something this is brand new factory sealed i don't know it came from like circuit city or fries or i don't know where it came from don't know how much it was Let's see if we could take out the sticker it was five bucks from desert five bucks right there they put it right on the the other sticker let's see if i can get it off out damaging the seal let's see uh slowly coming off slowly coming off where was this from ah yeah, yeah, not gonna be able to see where or how much it was, but uh, yeah, oh, well, I tried, so I don't know what, what they were asking for, it, but um, I've only seen one sold used, I, I believe it was an auction, it went for six bucks. It went for six bucks, took a gamble on this because I see there's four listings right now on eBay, three of them are used, one is brand new, and they all went over 70 bucks. I quickly went over to Amazon, the cheapest one, and I think there's only one available, used $72. This is brand new factory sealed. So I'm hoping to score at least 50 bucks or more, paid five bucks, hoping to get some money for this TV show right here. Amigas uh, e Rivales, I don't, know. I don't know. I don't know, I'm not getting Spanish, even though I am a quarter Spanish or Mexican. My mom was half Mexican, my grandma's full Mexican, but, uh, Never really learned the language. I knew some of it when I worked at Taco Bell for five years as a, a, a sister manager over there, or ship manager. But uh, that's all I got over at the Valley Thrift Store. Hopefully I can get some good money off of that Mexican show. Uh, the next place that I went to was the DAV, the Disabled American Veterans. I remember this time. Normally I just say Veterans Thrift Store. I only found one thing inside there. They had a bunch of new stuff. They're all just stacked upon each other. I'm looking at some of the stuff, and next thing you know, big old stack just fell right over. Almost hit me. Almost died. Not really, but it scared me. But uh, I ended up picking up one movie. It's not really worth much, but for, I think I paid a dollar three with tax. Uh, I picked up a movie a movie called Mary In-Laws. Apparently it's a Christmas movie. What caught my attention was two of the people, Shelley Long and George Went from Cheers. Great show. So it looks like it might be a fun watch right there. So I went ahead and grabbed it for 95 cents plus tax. Paid it all three out the door. These do seem to be going for about eight to ten bucks. Eight to ten bucks, even like up to fourteen. But uh, probably gonna give it a watch. I love George Went and Shelley Long, great actors. I don't know who these two are, but the guy in the middle, he kind of kind of looks a little like like Jason Bateman a little bit. Don't know who the chick is. Don't know who she is, but obviously they're a couple. Parents, whose parents? I don't know. Probably her parents. Don't know. But Mary in Laws looks like it'd be a funny movie to watch. So grab that one. That's all I got over there at the uh, the DAV thrift store. Uh, a little further up the road is the big ass Goodwill. Picked up. Normally I look for 
the five DVDs to get the two, the, the five for ten, so two bucks each, and then the Blu-rays are three ninety nine or three for nine ninety nine, so you save like three bucks. So I only found one Blu-ray worth grabbing, one DVD worth grabbing. Uh, the first one I picked up was the DVD, another Christmas movie, Annabelle's Wish. Wishes can come true. It looks like, it looks like it's out of print. See people saying it's out of print. And, uh, but yeah, Annabelle's Wish. I think she's, I think she's a cow. She wants to be like Rudolph. And she gets her wish to be Rudolph, I guess, for the day with the red nose. She don't have a red nose, but she's got a cowbell on there. Gotta have more cowbell. Anyways, this should go for at least 10 bucks plus shipping. The disc, if I remember, is a great shape, but there is a lot of fingerprints on here. Yeah, it needs to be cleaned up for sure. I don't know if I can get that, but there's fingerprints all over it. it needs to be cleaned up, but I don't see any scratches. No, Definitely no deep scratches. I don't see any, like maybe some light swirls, but pretty good condition. Going up on the bay, I paid $2.99. When you don't get the five, you pay the regular price. Three bucks instead of two. But pay three bucks for that one. And the DVD, the Blu-ray I picked up, a TV show, complete series, anime, so I'm going to butcher it. Gare Zero, G-A-R-E-I Zero. This is the complete series. This used seems to be going for about 35 bucks. So great grab right there. 35 bucks going up on the bay. That's five discs. Disc one. Disc two and disc three, these are DVDs, great shape. And then we have the two Blu-rays, disc one and disc two. Complete series going up on the bay, going up on the, I don't know why, but for some reason, the anime, uh, whether it be TV show or movies, they seem they, they tend to take a little longer to sell. But they do sell, but they just take a little longer. But should be able to get 35 bucks, pay $3.99 for that. But the, uh, the last place that I went to, I want to say like National City area, it's off the 805 and uh, Home Avenue. Yeah, off of Home Avenue. There's a good one over here. I always forget about it, but this that that's the one where I found the um, NCAA football 13 brand new sealed. I still have it available. I'm pretty sure I listed it. I'm actually a few days behind on, on the stuff that I found for the day, getting it up on the on eBay. I just wasn't really feeling like doing any work, you know. So I just been relaxing the last couple nights when I got home. But uh, just got out of the good one over here, and I found one, two. Three, four, five, three, one movie, two a TV show, two TV shows, three, I think three TV shows, maybe four TV shows, or maybe two, two movies and three TV shows. I don't know, but there was, these were all two ninety nine a piece. And, uh, first one I grabbed, uh, caught my attention, brand new sealed, looked pretty cool. It has a sticker on there originally, 1249, should be able to get at least 10. 10 bucks plus shipping on that for a, I don't know if it's a movie or what, but it's called The Mystery of a Handsome Cab. Don't know any of the actors. It's like a foreign film. Mystery of the Handsome Cab. Brand new sealed. Brand new sealed. Hopefully that's region one. If not, whatever. But uh, yeah, pretty sure region one. Going up on a bay, 10 bucks plus shipping. And then uh, this was a great find right here. This one, I'm going to replace the case. Plus, it's kind of like ribbed. Seen better days. But the, but the artwork's in great shape. Chapter insert is in a disc, a double-sided disc. It's a Hammer Collection. Uh, Christopher Lee in Dracula, Prince of Darkness. This is a Anchor Bay release right here. These seem to be going for 30 to 40 bucks. Used. Great find right there. Great find right there. Like I said, double-sided disc. This is in great shape. So, going to replace the case. Kind of ribbed. Kind of see right there. It's kind of ribbed. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to replace it with a brand new one. So, hopefully get at least 35 maybe 40 bucks. Probably at least 35 for sure, plus the shipping. Going up on the bay. Going up on the bay. I'll save that one for last. And then, um, here we have, I don't know if the, this is another TV show. I love watching this on HBO when it was out. Great show. Always great series. All the different episodes. This is the complete second season of Tales from the Crypt. Pay $2.99. This is brand new factory sealed. I don't know what season it is, but there's one that has Michael Ray Bauer in it where he's at a circus, uh, like a tent show. 
and something goes bad. But I don't know if this is the one he's in it or not. But this one, I was hoping to go for a little bit more. I've seen it sell for like 14, 15 bucks, but includes the shipping. So I should be able to get 10, 12 bucks plus shipping. Going up on the main brand new factory, so paid $2.99. Says so right there, $2.99. And then uh, let's see, the next thing I grabbed, this is also another, I'm assuming, TV show from AE. A and E, they got the TV show called Storage Wars. Have you ever heard of that? <laughs> but uh it's still going on. It's just in hiatus right now for the moment. Last time I talked to Renee a couple days ago on the phone. And uh but yeah, he's, he's doing good, he's always staying busy. But anyways, this TV show, pretty sure it's a TV show, it's starring Haley Mills, the flame tree of Thicka, T H I K A, the acclaimed memoir of an African childhood. Never seen or heard of it. Don't know anything about it. Brand new factory sealed, two ninety nine, and yeah, should be able to get about ten bucks plus shipping. So not a bad pickup right there. But now, time for the find of the day. And holy cow, I don't know. Something told me just to take a look. It's PBS Pictures. I'm assuming TV show. I don't know. TV show or movie. I don't know. But it's called The Secret Life of Miss Beaton. Last one sold. Brand new sealed like this one. For $57. There's only two available right now that's factory sealed. They want over 100 bucks. So not sure exactly what I can get. I do know it has sold for $57. Don't know if it's gonna if those people are gonna get a hundred bucks because I see them used. There's a used one you can get right now for nine bucks plus like five dollars shipping. So fourteen dollars for a used copy. It's from an ex library. The the discs are scratched, but I have seen used ones go for like twenty five bucks used. So should if worst case scenario I should be able to get at least fifty bucks, and I'm, I'm probably just gonna put it in the middle between what they're asking and what it's sold for. Put it around seventy four seventy five bucks. See if it sells. If not, because, I mean, you can always start high. If it doesn't sell, you can always lower it. But if you start low and it sells, you never know. You probably could have made a little bit more. So I'm going to start off a little high, see what happens. $2.99, going up on the bay, fine of the day. That's that's going to do it for today on uh, Saturday, January the 21st. Great day today. Great hunt. Very happy with today's success. Going to go ahead and upload this video. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. Time for me to go do some lift. Got to make some money. It's busy. It's Saturday. Time to make some good money. See you guys on the next one. Bye-bye.